Well, good morning. Looks like I'm a minute late or so. It's, uh, what is it, Wednesday, July 14th. This morning, I'm uh, reading from Amos. Amos chapter 9, 11 through 15. Um, I was looking on Sundays and Seasons, daily readings, and devotions, and, and hymns. And this is one they suggested for today. Amos 9. Uh, it's entitled, A Promise of Restoration. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation. I like to mix things up. Um, it reads, In that day I will restore the fallen kingdom of David. It is now like a house in ruins, but I will rebuild its walls and restore its former glory. And Israel will possess what is left of Edom and all the nations I have called to be mine. I, the Lord, have spoken, and I will do these things. The time will come, says the Lord, when the grain and grapes will grow faster than they can be harvested. Then the terraced vineyards on the hill of Israel will drip with sweet wine. I will bring my exiled people of Israel back from distant lands, and they will rebuild their ruined cities and live in them again. They will plant vineyards and gardens. They will eat their crops and drink their wine. I will firmly plant them there in the, in the land I have given them, says the Lord your God. Then they will never be uprooted again. I look at this and I see newness, uh, a, pr a promise of restoration. And I think, and I wonder, what does that newness look like? Is it the, he said, to its former glory? Uh, in, in what way? In what way is its former glory? The, the physical building, the walls, restore its walls. But is it as a people? Uh, their former glory is... As, as a people of God, that they will follow God and and be treated fairly by rulers and leaders. Um, you know, we saw that even David wasn't always the most just of God of kings. Um, and I wonder about newness for our our times. You know, the the newness of what does it mean to start over? What does that mean? Um, you look back on your life and you think, well, I uh, had this in mind when I started, but now it's different than what I had thought. You know, Kelly and I never thought we live in Wisconsin. Here we are, you know, 16 years later. Um, it's just interesting where the Spirit leads you and uh, how this newness happens and occurs and uh, how we embrace it or we'll run from it, but hopefully embrace, embrace the change, the newness. Restore the church to the former glory. Whatever we decide church means. And uh, I see one one website. Well, it's uh, the building. Talk about the building of... Uh, we'll meet in the building, the congregational building. But it's not the congregation itself. The congregation of the people and, and that kind of thing. So how to rebuild the people of God and what does that look like? It's interesting to think about. Um, especially when we think about you know, our area in Cedarburg, you know, the four ELC churches, and, and what does that look like? How do we restore to former glory? Can we? And what does it look like? It's very interesting. We don't know where the Spirit will lead us. We can kind of pray about it and think about it, talk amongst ourselves about it, and try to hear things, try things here and there. But you know, it's ultimately God's ministry. It's God's mission. So to living into that the best we can. But uh, yeah, God will restore um, God's people uh, in new ways. So it's an adventure for all of us. Anyway, let us pray. Gracious and loving God, help us to see the adventure of newness, how you restore us, and how you make us new and uh, fulfill your mission, whatever that looks like. It's exciting times. Um, help us to live into that as best we can. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, until tomorrow, peace be with you.